Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag's PostgreSQL DBA tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to promote Slap server to master and master to Slap in PostgreSQL 16 on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS step by step process. So we have two PostgreSQL servers are there. So master server IP is 192.168.224.134 and second watch is 135. So we'll access both the server and both the servers is running in my VMware. So now let me access both the server. SSH DPT at the rate 192.168.224.134 so enter it will ask you the password while installing you provided the password so provide the same password second one is 135 Now I'm going to log in with sudo. So both the server we have logged in. Let me check the IP. So this is 134, 192, 168, 224.134. This one is. 135 so this is my master server let me change the color and let me give the name master and this one is slave I'm changing this one color to blue so red one is master and this is my slave so what I'll do uh, let me check verify the master server and slave server so the on the master I'll run this query and I will check this is the master here I'm running the query so this is streaming replication and slave Postgres uh, is in recovery. Let me check with that. This is true. Then this is in recovery. Yeah, this is true. So this is streaming replication. So so stop. Uh, so should uh, so replication is started with the uh, connected server. Stop write activity on the master while. Uh, Whenever you are just promoting your master to uh, master to slab or slab to master, then just stop stop the write activity on that. Now I'm going to test the master. So I'm logging with the master. So same thing, I'm just logging with the slab also. Here, let me check with the list of the databases. There is a four databases are there. So there is slab also we have a four databases. Now I'll just create one database in master. So I'm just creating the database in master. Okay, so sorry, slab is read only mode. So by mistake, I have run in the slab. So master database is created in the slab. If I try to create the database also, it won't create because this is a read only mode. So this is a slab. We have a read-only mode now. Now, let me check with the database list. There is a five databases now. There is a just now we created the database. This one, test Reply. I'll just connect with the database test Reply. Okay, so let's see. So connected with the test database. Let me check with the relations so don't have any relations are there now i'll create one table i have create table command is there you can create the table easily so i have created one table so created table is created dt 
so you can able to check the table so my employees is there select select stack from employees so we don't have the data now and in the slab also now let me connect with the database so slash c test replay connected slash dt so select extract from employees so we have don't have data now in the both the side so master this will uh, read write so, so we can re, uh, just read the data means write the data on the master so i'm going to write the data on the master so here what i'll do i'll just insert some data some values are there so simple query is there insert into employees their table name where is the this and the, these are the column name then values then column is value whatever we are inserting so enter two values are inserted now i'm running to the employees so you can able to see two rows are created there so same you can able to see there here also we have a two rows chirag mahato is there and arun kumar is there so all the data is inserted in the master this is showing there in the replica if you want to insert try to insert in the replica it will give you the read write error just ca cannot execute insert in the read only transaction so this table is only read only transaction so you can able to read but you can not able to write on the this uh, slab server now so we have done this up to this now i'm going to promote slab to master so what i'll do i'll just log in with the postgres let me exit from there here i'll just log in with the postgres and i'm going to run the pgctl promote and directory i'm going to promote this directory let me check in the slab server i'm running this one so waiting so you can see the output this is my output so waiting for server to promote done server promoted alternatively you can run so you can run the this one select pg promote also it will just promote the server now you can able to see select queue and here we don't have any rows means uh, pg state replication is uh, ended here here you can this is promoted to master now you can read write operation you can do into the this one so let me check with the slab server so this is false so recovery mode in false means that this is not in recovery streaming replication is not going on so now i am going to demote the old master to slab so step by step process is given there so what i will do first i will just stop the postgres sql on the master so this is my master server so if you want then i will keep it in separate like this so no we can work with this same okay why this is not going there okay it's okay so in that master i'm going to stop the postgres so just enter now you can check the status status so, <coughs> this one is loaded so status is down now next what I, what i'll do i'll remove the old wall files or uh, we can create that here what i'll do i'm just directly going through the move to the directory and i'm creating the directory here as per your requirement you can change your way so here i'm just moving the directory copy to the old so copy it now i'm just removing the main directory 
directory is removed now i'm just 128 okay so ip i have to change so here 224 dot uh, 185 135 is master now so i have to take a backup from the master let me check if it will allow or not before that let me check with the this one uh post based authentication this file if that is allowed or not before running that what i'll do i'll just add this one to here so copy this one just now i did I remove this one here what I'll do I'll just open this one and add this so allowing to 134 okay IP is wrong so 224.134 so I'm allowing replicator to 134 that is they, they can allow this uh, access this so right and quit So here also I am ch changing the IP. So 224 and 134. Okay. So this part I'm I'm not right. I'm not writing here because this is continuously I'm doing. PostgreSQL in slab server in slab server I'll do this one in slab server I'll do this one after that I'll just restart the slab server so step by step will be there start restart so here restart i'm going to restart the slab server okay now i am going to these things we we have done now i'm going for the pg base backup okay replicator user so one thing i have to also do the so same thing i'll just create the replicator user so just i'll log in and i'll just create the user replicator role is created now i'm moving to the master server and i'll just go for the base backup let me check Yeah, base backup is completed. Now you can notice that in this file, in this folder, ls minus l, which in this folder you can able to see there is a standby dot sync signal file view will will be there. So we have done that one. Now. 
update the postgresql.config on the old master and modify the configuration of the register. Now I'm going to open the postgresql.config file in the master. On the this one is the old master. Okay. So I'm So I am opening this one. Here I will change my listening address, my port number, and wall level the J replica. Okay, then primary. primary connection i am giving this one to primary connection and just i'll primary can connected with the my new master so 135 is the new master so i am i am giving with the new master now next i am going to start the postgres sql so exit from the front front here I'm going to start the PostgreSQL on replica. So this is my new slab server, and this one my Postgres replica is there. So here, uh, let me check with the PG status. So we we don't have now anything. Here I'm going to start this one. Start it. Now let me check same query again. So same query I'm running. See, you can able to see this is a streaming replication and asynchronous mode. Okay. And uh, in master also, you can able to log in sudo minus u post postgres and psql so slash l you can able to check the databases we have a five databases here and here also you can able to check there also we are at the five database okay so now you can check with the pg this one this query you can run in the slab and you can check this will be in true so t we are getting the t true true means this is uh, one is recovery mode in master we'll just create one more database so this is my new master here i'm going to create the database so database is created slash l you can able to see there is a six databases are there here also we will get the six database so one two three four five six total six databases are there now if i will try to create a database three here so can't execute create database in the read only transaction means new must uh, new slab server new replica server is now in read only mode our new master is the slab server we promoted the slab server to the master master server to the slab i'll just create one table i'll create head table slash c connected that with the new database and same thing i'll just do it here now let me check with the dt one table is there employee to select extract from employee to I'm running with the master so we don't have any data here also stick from employee to we don't have any data in in main master now this is the new master for me and just i'll insert the same query some small query and run two data inserted here let me check 
so data is inserted is duplicated into the my old master okay this is a slave server for me now and this is a master server so like this you can check so so check with the replicated to the old master now is the standby that is standby mode by acquiring the same same table there so employees table is there so we can uh, done this one and we are able to see this one so in this video we have learned postgresql 16 promote slab to master and master to slab in ubuntu 24.0 for lts step by step process and we have a two postgresql server and we have already done the uh, this one uh, replication streaming replication so streaming replication youtube link so you can go through the i will provide you the link so you can go through that link and uh, you can able to uh, do the streaming replication after that you can uh, just promote the slab to master and master to slab so we have done this one and for any doubts and query please write on the youtube video comment section and follow the process shown in the video please subscribe and like for the more videos don't forget to follow like share and comment Thank you for watching.